what's in the box. Mmm. Small but heavy. 50 kilos. 52. Any guesses? Christmas. Upside down. Because I didn't want to. Can you see what it is yet? Keep that. Keep that. Keep that, make a box out of that. The plan is, I didn't want a huge press because it's for motorbikes. The biggest problem with presses is the throat, the width, how big a diameter you can get in there, and of course the height. Generally, a lot of common presses just have a hydraulic jack of this sort of setup. Obviously, this is a tiny jack, and you probably get 10 ton jacks. 20 ton jacks, not much bigger, but bigger diameter. And they sit here, on a, usually on a cross plate, and it can be a bit tricky to, you lose a lot of height all of a sudden, and therefore you need a free floor standing one, and that takes up a lot of room in the, in the workshop. So the idea is I just wanted a bench mounted one, because generally you don't need the whole height. Um, and given that you only use these occasionally, I've decided to go for a bench top one just to keep the size down. And it's, even though it is heavy, you can sort of, the idea is to move it out of the way when I don't need it. That's the plan anyway. So this particular model, hopefully you'll see, is you get quite a lot of depth for the height. Also handy. Sometimes you might have something which is a bit offset. So by, by having to be able to move this that way means you can get awkward shapes in there. So that's good. I think I might adapt this and just grind that over. It's over. A little bit of wasted space. That needs sticking out. Yeah. yeah. Let's see if it works first, and then we can modify it. Hopefully got that in shop. You can see the little piece of metal is like butter. It's already it's not even registering on here. So, let's see if we can squash it flat. So as I press on that, it's not even registering. Just flickering the needle is up and down. Oh, there it goes. Now it's beginning to. So we've got, uh, what is that? What? We'll talk metric. 
One ton. Two ton. Three ton. That is flat. This piece of, uh, I don't know, four mil angle line, or was. <laughs> Oh, that's going to come in handy. We can do broaching gears. So, a bit of a modification. Um, I didn't like the pump or piston being on this side, and it's stuck out too far. So, I've already modified it. Um, I don't know if you can see these tabs were originally sticking out here, so I've put them on top of the casting like that. So. Hopefully, the piston can now sit over there and I can move the whole thing on the width of the table, which is good. So, if all goes well, it should fit, he says. Sweet. 